Hey everyone, welcome to the movie tour. I am Vic and today we are talking Don't Worry Darling, which seemingly takes place in the 1950s and it follows a housewife named Alice who lives in a utopian society called the Victory Project. And wow, is this place gorgeous and boy do I wish I lived there. It's so beautiful with the palm trees and the pools and wait, I actually do live there. A large part of this movie was actually filmed right here in Palm Springs. Why don't we take a real movie tour and go check out all those filming locations? I think that sounds like a great idea. Let's go. Woo! All right, let's do this. Let's go to all of those filming locations. Ah, I'm so excited. Let's go. Don't Worry Darling is a psychological thriller directed by Olivia Wilde and written by Katie Silberman. And the first place I want to check out is their home and its iconic imagery that can be found at the Canyon View Estates. Okay, so we have arrived at the actual home. Now I don't want to spend a lot of time here because I know people actually live in this, in this location. In fact, it actually looks like there's a bunch of for sale signs in this area as well. So it's incredible. I, I can't believe I'm here. This is so cool. Imagine living in one of these homes. Oh my goodness. It's just beautiful. Okay, so this is where Florence Pugh and Harry Styles lived in this house right here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're gonna get out of the car. We're gonna talk about it a little bit. I just don't wanna stay too long. Um, wow, it's beautiful here. It's just so beautiful. The exterior shots were all done here. However, the inside of the house was actually shot in Santa Clarita, California. The real inside of the house actually looks much different than what we see in the film. This is the house that Florence Pugh and Harry Styles actually lived in for the movie. And Bunny lived right next door. Did you know that Olivia Wilde was originally planning on being the lead in the film? But when she saw Florence Pugh in Midsummer, she knew that Florence had to play Alice. And these lights actually blow up in the movie. I love that they're still here. Now let's go to our next location. Now there's a famous photo that was taken in 1970 by Slim Aaron. This photo is called Poolside Gossip. And Olivia Wilde was so inspired by this photo that she actually wanted to film where the photo took place. The photo was taken here at the Desert Kaufman House. Now there's a lot of movies and TV shows that show the outside of the house, the very front of the house. However, Don't Worry Darling, according to director Olivia Wilde, was the first film to actually shoot on property inside the location. This house, by the way, was commissioned to be made by Edgar Kaufman, who also commissioned Frank Lloyd Wright to make the Falling Water property in Pennsylvania. This place is actually on every Palm Springs architecture tour. It was designed in 1946 by Richard Neutra and was once owned by Barry Manilow. Also, can we just take a second to talk about how awesome Olivia Wilde is? Like my favorite role of hers is definitely 13 in the show House. Now let's go to our next location. Florence Pugh decides to go for a ride on a trolley and she actually passes this building right here. This is the Palm Springs Visitor Center. It was actually established back in 1965 as a gas station and it's been reopened up as a visitor center for all Palm Springs. There's actually a nice little shop inside and if you look behind it, you have the San Jacinto Mountains. Now there's actually an aerial tramway that goes all the way up that mountain. It's the world's largest rotating tramway. It's not shown in the movie, uh, but that's a fun little fact for you. Right behind that, we have that cool tramway. Other locations used in the filming were Palm Springs City Hall. They also did some filming at the Palm Springs Art Museum, which currently has a huge Marilyn Monroe out front. Okay, so right now I am at the La Quinta Resort and Club in La Quinta, California. Now this is the resort that all of the cast and crew actually stayed at while filming the movie. And they actually did film the swimming pool scene here on site. So we're gonna go to that pool right now. So I just asked the member of the hotel staff how many pools they have on this resort. There are 41 pools and the production had use of the entire property. So they could have gone anywhere on this property if they wanted to. And this place is like a mini city. It's incredibly huge and beautiful. And I can't believe I just have free reign to just walk around. Nobody's stopping me. Nobody seems to care. But uh, look at that. There's another pool right here. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. Ah! All right, so this is the actual swimming pool right here where they filmed the movie. So this is the shot. She walks around this tree over here and the camera kind of does a pan 
right about here, which is where the girls all sit, right next to the pool. I thought I'd just come sit by the pool before I leave here because it's so gorgeous and I just wanted to just enjoy it. Nobody cares that I'm here. Nobody cares. I didn't pay for anything. I could apparently just come swimming if I want. <laughs> So now we're gonna head to our next destination and you guys are gonna love the next place, I promise. It's a long drive, so buckle up for this one. For this, we leave Palm Springs for about a three hour drive to Newberry Springs, California. So let's get going. Now this movie is basically Inception meets The Truman Show, but did you catch all of the very clear Alice in Wonderland references throughout the film? First off, our main character's name is Alice and she is in sort of a wonderland here. She also meets Bunny, which is a reference to the white rabbit. Also, she enters the land through windows or mirrors, through the looking glass. So this drive is about three hours from Palm Springs to Newberry Springs. And if you're enjoying this video, please do give it a like. Now we have arrived, Newberry Springs, here we go. So at this point, Alice sees a plane go down in the middle of the desert and she wanders off on her own. She ends up at the volcano house in Newberry Springs. All right, we got her up in the air and we're moving, slowly moving closer to the volcano house in all of its splendor. Look at how amazing this thing looks, man. And I just, I'm blown away by Florence Pugh's performance here. She ran up this thing barefoot. Like, I don't even like being barefoot in my own house. And she's going up this thing barefoot. I, I, I don't understand. You can see that the desert is literally just all around us. Those windows really, really show off the beauty that's inside the desert. I can't imagine how hot it gets inside that thing. Being surrounded in the desert, like right now it's beautiful out here. It's about 75 degrees, super windy if you can't hear that. Um, but still like, it's gotta be cooking in there. You're basting like a turkey in that thing. This house was designed by architect Harold James Bisoner Jr. in 1968. And it almost looks like a spaceship giving a 360 degree view of the desert around it. With its beautiful windows, it sits 150 feet up and was once owned by the TV host, Huell Hauser. Now I'll show you some clips on the screen of what the inside actually looks like. So you can kind of get a good idea. They don't show this in the film, by the way. Here you can also see the platform that she stands on, but it looks like there's no staircase right now. Interesting. Now the film spent a lot of time in Palm Springs due to its massive amount of mid-century modern architecture. Almost every scene in this film draws from that type of style. When you think of paradise, I'm sure a lot of you think of palm trees, beautiful weather, sitting by the pool. Well, that is the epitome of what Palm Springs has to offer. And I live here. I live in paradise and I'm so grateful for it. If you ever wanna come check out the Victory Project, please do hit me up and we can go check it out together. We'll see you guys next time on the movie tour.